Did you go and blow your whole budget on getting a fancy snorkel, some fancy traction boards, and a fancy poop shovel like I did? And now you have no cash left over to buy the necessary things to go overlanding? Well, my name Big D, and I can show you how to go camping or overlanding for zero dollars. And uh, by the way, please excuse the mic noise in these next clips, because uh, it's kind of messed up. So the first thing that comes to mind with camping is bear. And all you need is enough bear, and anywhere is a nice place to sleep. So check your beer fridge and raid that sucker like the end of the world is coming. But how will you store all that beer? Well, if you drink beer, you should already own a cooler. And if you don't own a cooler, then you don't know how to party. If you don't know how to party, well, this expedition stuff just isn't for you. But look, there's a cooler right here. Five o'clock somewhere. It's not five o'clock here, but it's somewhere. And that's it. Beer is all you need for a successful expedition. But I know you glampers have needs. So your first need is a tent. And for the tent, you're gonna grab you some old sheets, some old blankets, and a pillow, of course. And I'm gonna show you how to use these bad boys for a tent. The next thing you're gonna need is food. Now this is where things get kind of tricky. You have to make sure you have enough beer for a whole family, even if you're a family of one, like me. And then after that, you fill the rest of your cooler with food. But if you're like me, your cooler is only meant for beer. And your food is only the dry stuff, like these nuts. And that should be everything you need to go on a successful expedition. Now let's show you how to use this stuff. All right, going on my expedition, you know? Come on, Vaughn. Uh, yo, I got a little too excited, so, uh, you know, it's all right, it was just a hand. I was gonna sing y'all a song, but it looks like Kula can't handle that, so we gonna load up the Jeep. As you can see, I got my tools in here. I got my tools just in case, you know, we gotta... I'm ready. But we ain't venturing off too far. We ain't going too far off the path. So we should be all right. You load up your vehicle, and you're on your way. All right. So I know, so I know all y'all glampers are always worried about when and where you're going to take your next shower. Wet wipes. You got to keep them in your car at all times, especially down here in Florida. It gets a little, you know, a little spicy. And it, it's, I don't want to talk about it too much. I think I have a sweating problem, but it gets a little too hot down there. So, you know, you got to clean yourself up at times, you know, for, for the lady. You know, when she wants to get do a little something, something. You don't want to give her like a little spicy sandwich, a little spicy meatballs. She don't like them spicy meatballs. So, yeah, you got to clean that up. But get you some wet wipes, keep them in your car at all times, and you got a shower right here. So I'm going to show you later on in the video how to take a shower with these. Let's go. So we ain't going too far because, you know, it's a Jeep thing. I got, I still got fixes on the Jeep I gotta do. I hear a grinding, I think it's my axle, but uh, you know, we gonna do the best we can. And we about to rock crawl. Yeah, hurry up and get out. Get this shot real quick. Hold up, hold up. Am I good? What? Am I good? Yeah. Send it. Do I, do I need a turn? Do I, driver? Driver side? Am I good? All right, you made it.
All right. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do when you arrive to your campground, I know this one looks real nice. It's real nice and flat. We can set our tent up anywhere because it's real flat everywhere. So the first thing that you're gonna wanna do once you arrive to camp is get you a beer. You should already know how to do that. I ain't need to tell nobody to do that. I don't know if it's a good idea to have glass or not, but you're gonna wanna clean yourself up. Make sure that, that shit don't break. After you have your first sip of beer, you don't wanna talk to your friends. But I ain't got no friends here, so I'm just gonna enjoy my beer. All right, so here's what we gonna do. We at camp, we gotta set up camp. To set up camp, we gonna have to set up a tent. And you know with the tent, we got the sheets, so follow me. Here's what we gonna do. You're gonna want a tent, you know how a tent looks and stuff like that. You're gonna wanna find some sticks. You know, it sucks, but this is cheap. Oh, I think there's a stick right underneath the Jeep right now. Look at this. She already found one. That's a good stick right there. You see that? You just need a couple more. Oh. Hold up. All right. Let's go find some more sticks. What you could do as you're driving around, as you stop, you know, eat some snacks. You can find you some sticks that way. You just got to remember, you got to need, you need something for your tent. Oh, you know what? I see a shopping cart. We're going to use that. See, out here in the wilderness, you got to get creative. And you know, not all y'all are gonna have access to a shopping cart, but guess what? I do, so I'm gonna use that. Here's another stick. We gonna use that. So let's bring this back. This works perfect. Hold on, hold up. Hold up, you see that? You see that? Look at her. Ain't she looking pretty? So here's what you do. You see, you see something like that. You see she looking pretty, right? You grab your phone, you need that social proof. All that, you know, posting and telling everybody about how you planning for this expedition. You gonna, you gonna take a picture of your beautiful ride. You gonna first get you a selfie, you know, get, get far away. Ooh, we got a tree right there. If any of y'all interested, I can come out with a couple videos showing you how to, you know, take real good photos and real good video of your expeditions. Y'all interested? Comment below. I'm gonna give y'all little tips right now. So some of y'all may have like a rooftop tent, some other stuff. What you're gonna wanna do if you have the new iPhone, you're gonna put that on wide mode, but I ain't got that. So we just gonna go regular photo mode you gonna make sure you get all the angles, but I'm just gonna work with this one angle. You got this tree up here too. You wanna get low. You wanna get low. You wanna get low as you can go. Gonna take a picture. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, that looks sweet. That looks so nice. Wait, let's go vertical real quick. Oh, look at that. That's even better. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. See, this photo looks nice because you got the tree coming out the back, but sure, it's coming out back of the Cherokee. Now, what you're going to do after you get your, your good photo, you post it on your social medias and you, you text all your friends, all your contacts. You're going to text your family. You're going to text everybody you know. You're going to tell them like, comment, and share. Hold up. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You gonna tell everybody you on this expedition because you've already been playing for years for this big old expedition. You gonna tell them that you out here doing it finally. You out here. <coughs> Excuse me, cameraman. Hold hold on, cameraman. Hold on. I'm I mean, camera woman. Hold on. We can't be dying over here. Oh, I don't keep any masks in my in my car, so uh, I ain't got a measuring tape. Right now we filming this during coronavirus season, so just please make sure you keep a six foot distance from me. You know, like this is about the closest I want you to me right now. So, um, 
Yeah, so after you get your photo, you want to make sure you get all kinds of angles. But for video purposes, I just showed you one good photo. You get your selfie to make sure you always want to take a selfie just so that people know that it, you're actually on this trip. So, you know, we got that going. But anyway, let's go back to this tent. But but she looked sweet. You know, this is this part this part of the journey. You know, you just sit here, all that time and effort you spent, all that money you spent on your beautiful ride, you gotta appreciate her. You gotta look at her. She gotta feel appreciated. You know, she you know, she she like your wife. You give her all this diamond jewelry, you gotta tell her you love her once in a while, you know? Make her feel good. You know, from the heart. Why don't you do that shit at home? I ain't got no wife. I got baby mamas, but I ain't got a wife. We still working at it. Anyway, get your bundle of sticks or logs or whatever. Get creative. Get your sticks. We got this cart right here. And the first thing we gotta do is we gotta find a nice level ground because if you don't find a level ground, you're gonna be rolling all over the place in your tent. It's not gonna be good. So this already looks level as it is. This whole ground looks kind of level. We got a dog barking over there. But you know, this kind of looks nice right here. So we gonna, we gonna set our tent up right here. So get your sheets. All right, I'm not sure how to use this yet. So you got, you just give me a second while I figure this out, you know? You know, maybe if you have some kids, you can use this as like a bunk bed or something. But all right, I'm gonna keep this up. This is just gonna be kind of like a brace. You know, a little life, life hack. You know, you got something like this, you get, you get your fitted sheet, get you some grip. So all you gotta do really, all you gotta do really, you get you another stick right here. Look at that. And you saw, oh, this ground hard. I ain't an engineer. And I already told y'all, all I need is beer. And anywhere is a good place to sleep. So I've never done this in my life. But uh, you guys gotta kind of get the point. You know, you, you see that? You know, if I can get this in the ground, I will move this out there in the grass where it's nice and soft. I'll stake this down, you know, push it down. Hold up, hold up. I'll push this down so that it'll hold it up. You got your nice little tent going right here. Also, as you can see, this cart's about to fall over. If you get hurt doing any of this stuff, I am not reliable. I am not responsible. Do this at your own risk. Don't be stupid and drink a lot of beer. All right, so cameraman said I should actually, I mean, sorry, sorry to be politically correct. Uh, camera woman said that I should actually set this tent up real so people can see that I actually do it. But, and I said, okay, I accept your challenge. So here's what we're gonna do. I know y'all are not gonna have carts. I said this before, but I got lucky. So pick a good camp spot. Now, here's what we're going to do. It's hot. I'm probably not going to even use this, so I'm going to put it in the cart. Then I'm going to take this. I'm going to wrap around the cart. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to get my sticks ready. We're going to do that. We're going to kind of get us like an awning. Now, this isn't waterproof, so if it rains, I'm screwed. But I can always sleep in my truck. But we're going to set this here. We gonna put a stick here. All right, we gonna try to jam this in the ground. We gonna jam it in the ground. Here we go. Is it gonna stay? Probably not, but you know, we gonna go for good enough. Okay, here we go. That's far down as we can go. Look, and here's what you do. You go, you put that there. You know what? You know what would be an even better idea? So we already have a thing that's up, so I could put my head here. We're going to do this the other way. So let's say you find yourself a rock, but I ain't going to get a rock. You're going to get down. You're going to do this. Did I say this wasn't going to be comfortable? I mean, how can you really expect to go camping on a zero dollar budget? Like this, this is what you're going to get unless you sleep in your car. But we're sleeping outside. So, you know, if you go over here, oh. Hold up. Camera woman isn't impressed. So we gonna try it again. We gonna come down. 
we're going to put the edge on the wheel as an anchor. Put the other edge on the wheel. So that way, we can pull this. See that? That ain't going nowhere. It ain't going underneath like that. Boom. See that tent? Let me get yourself in a fetal position. Right? So look, look. See that? See that? I'll leave a little space open. You know, you got your sheet if you want. You can hang this on this, this other side so bugs don't come in. There you go. Look at that. Right? A plus, right? That look good? Yeah, it ain't good. But what'd you expect for zero dollars? I think it's all right. Or you can go sleep in your vehicle. Like I said before, that's another option. You got your vehicle right there. Just make room. There you go. It's way too hot out to be camping out here. So, yeah. But anyway, you got that set up. Now, back to taking pictures. You want this close to your vehicle, your tent. But you ain't going to take a picture of this. You, people are going to be like, Big D, what the hell is that? You know, that's why I don't take pictures of my tents. That's why you only see me and my vehicle. But anyway, that's an idea for you. You know, if you ain't got no money, you know, it's an option. Wouldn't recommend. I would just sleep in the vehicle. Camera woman wants to see what it looks like sleeping in the vehicle, but I have, I got my spare tire in there. Uh, I got all my tools and stuff. I'm in the middle of still fixing up this Jeep, but you know, you can do it. You know, you fold some seats down, push your seats forward. You may have to scrunch up a little bit. I'm like six foot tall in the pants, but um, I'm a little bit too big to, you know, fit in that kind of stuff, so. Yeah. Anyway, we just gonna leave this right here. I'm starting to, you know, cook up, cook up some slime action going on. And this is for all y'all glampers. Right? So. You get your baby wipes. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna open up your shirt, right? Excuse the microphone. I'm part of the FBI. I'm all wired up. I keep a wire on me at all times. You know, people say the craziest things. You know, get, get this all undone. Yep. You won't get as naked as possible. Now, if you were into like the deep wilderness, you can get all kinds of naked. But I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you a little technique, little technique I picked up from learning this, right? You can, you can do this in all types of crevices. I'm gonna show you my pits, but you know, you can get down deep in there, you know, that kind of stuff. So anyway, get you a baby wipe. What you're gonna do, you're gonna fold it in half. So now you got four sides of this. You're gonna take your four fingers you want to get the crease side, like in the crease of your fingers, right there. So just in your tips, you're going to raise your hand all the way up. You're going to point your fingers to the sky, like that, right? You're going to bring this hand, you're going to bring it right here. And you're going to violently get up all in there and make sure you get all the good stuff out of there. You know what I'm saying? You want to make sure you get it. Get it all up in there. See all the pieces fly? Hold up. Hold up. You too, doggy. You too. But yeah, you, you catch my drift. You want to do that same aggressiveness. You want to like almost give yourself a rug burn. Make sure you get all that funk off. You want to make sure pretty much like you want to keep kind of scrubbing in it. What's going to happen is you can see it's like falling apart. It's going to pretty much disintegrate. That's when you know it's done. You don't throw these out because it's going to be all over the place. You do the other side. You get all that up in there. Then you finish up all there. Then you get yourself a brand new one. And you do the same thing in your Johnson. Your Dangleberries. You know, that kind of stuff. You do all that kind of stuff. So. But how do you really properly clean your Dingleberries? Oh, you know, you got, you know, the in-between, but you got the sack, right? That's hard. You just, you just got to go for it. You know, you got to like, you know, you know, the like, the like, uh, the pinch and pull, but do that with, 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 with this. I know the girls don't know what I'm talking about, but the pinch and pull, you want to do that with, with the uh, baby wipe in between. So you gonna pinch and kind of like do that, you know, and pull. 
you want to do that all around to make sure you get all ball in there. So, I mean, I, mean, I ain't going to demonstrate because we kind of monetized on this channel and uh, it's, it's, this not, this not, it's not that kind of, it's not, it's just not one of them channels. So, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I don't know. What is one takeaway that the audience should learn from this camping experience? One takeaway, make sure you have enough beer because it doesn't matter what you have, what, who you're with, what you're doing. As long as you have enough beer, it's always going to be a party. So, you know, that's the number one thing that I can say. Doesn't matter if it's Corona, just pick your favorite, your favorite alcoholic beverage. That, I mean, that's, that's number one. That's how you overland you know, on a zero dollar budget if you already have beer in the fridge, which you should already have. And if you don't, you have other problems. So anyway, my name Big D and this is Trail Spin TV. Please like and subscribe and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day. Hold up. Hold up.